Historically, there are a number of different types of data models. Many years ago, we began with basically a file system. A file system is where you store a data file, such as a text or a binary file, in the file system, such as in Windows Explorer or in a Unix file. Programmers would have then written programs to access the file system and access data within the files within the file system and do all sorts of interesting things with it. Basically, they would have had to have written the database. Somewhere along the way, somebody invented what's called a hierarchical database. It essentially creates a hierarchical structure where every object or child entity has a single parent entity. As you can see, company division department contains project task and manager, and manager contains employee. Employee is not part of task, project, and manager, but only part of manager. It can only be part of a single parent. The next generation up from hierarchical databases were network databases. Essentially what a network database allowed was a child object to have multiple parents. In this case you see you have project, which is actually a child of both a project type and a department. What actually happened was it allowed this assignment object to come into play, which is essentially a many-to-many -many relationship between task and employee. A task is done or performed by many employees, and an employee can have many tasks, therefore a many-to-many -many relationship. The next step up was a relational database. A relational database allows essentially links between any entity within the structure and access to any entity from outside of that structure by a computer programmer. An object database created a database structure with an object structure where you have interesting things such as inheritance, abstraction, and specialization class structure. An object relational database was really initially an answer to relational database vendor competition or the threat of competition from newly introduced object databases where the relational database vendors included certain object aspects within relational databases, but the underlying structure is still relational. Those are the basic types of data models, historically speaking.